Is Danny Alves truly guilty as charged or is there more to the story? A question that has dogged the football world, stirring debates and dividing fans. It's no simple query, but a complex web of facts, allegations, and interpretations. A story that isn't just about a man and his career, but the very fabric of the sport we so passionately follow. So are you ready to untangle this web? Let's delve into a timeline to understand the roots of this controversy. Danny Alves, a name synonymous with football greatness, but every journey has its beginnings. In the small town of Juazeiro, Brazil, a young Alves found his feet in the world of football. Born into an agricultural family, the football pitch was his escape from the hardships of farm life. His love for the game was clear from the start, and it was this passion that drove him to pursue his dream. Alves' talent was undeniable, and it wasn't long before his skills caught the attention of local scouts. He was selected to play for Bahia, a club in the Brazilian Serie A, at the tender age of 15. It was here that Alves began to make waves in the football world. His natural athleticism and flair for the game were evident, and he quickly became a crowd favorite. But it wasn't just Alves' skill on the pitch that set him apart. His determination and work ethic were equally impressive. He was known for his relentless training and commitment to improvement. His resilience in the face of adversity was a testament to his character, and it was this grit that would carry him through the trials and tribulations of his career. As Alves' reputation grew, so did the opportunities. In 2002, he made the leap to Europe, signing with Spanish club Sevilla. His performances in La Liga were nothing short of extraordinary, earning him a place in the hearts of fans and the respect of his peers. His deft footwork, pinpoint accuracy and unwavering dedication to the game were instrumental in Sevilla's success. But with success comes scrutiny, and Alves was no exception. His rise to prominence was not without its challenges. Off the pitch, Alves faced criticism and controversy. His outspoken nature and flamboyant style made him a target for the media, leading to speculation and rumors that threatened to overshadow his contributions on the field. As Alves' star rose, so did the scrutiny and pressure. The young lad from Juazeiro had made it to the pinnacle of football, but the journey was far from over. Little did he know the most challenging chapter of his career was yet to come. In the midst of glory, a storm was brewing. As Danny Alves was basking in the adulation of his fans and the respect of his peers, a shadow began to form on the horizon. The first ominous signs came in the form of charges, accusations that would send shockwaves through the football community. In the world of football, where reputations are built on skill, performance, and character, charges against a player of Alves' caliber were nothing short of a bombshell. It was like a sudden downpour on a sunny day catching everyone off guard. The initial public reaction was a mix of disbelief, confusion, and disappointment. The man who was once the epitome of footballing excellence was now under a cloud of suspicion and scrutiny. The charges were not minor, they were serious accusations that could potentially tarnish the sterling reputation Alves had painstakingly built over the years. They were charges that could potentially alter the trajectory of his career, charges that could potentially strip him of the respect and admiration he had earned. The news spread like wildfire. From news outlets to social media platforms, from sports commentators to football fans, everyone was talking about it. The world of football was abuzz with speculation, conjecture, and opinion. There were those who staunchly defended Alves, and there were those who were quick to pass judgment. The charges against Alves were not just a personal crisis for the star player, they were a crisis for the entire football community. They raised uncomfortable questions about the role of fame, power, and money in the world of sports. They forced fans to confront the harsh reality that their heroes were not immune to flaws, that they were not above the law. In the midst of the controversy, Alves found himself in the eye of the storm. The man who had once commanded the pitch with his skill and charisma was now at the center of a legal battle that threatened to overshadow his footballing prowess. The football world was left stunned as the reality of the charges against Alves began to sink in, the football community was left grappling with the implications. The glory days seemed to be overshadowed by the looming storm, and the football world waited with bated breath to see how the saga would unfold. As the news broke, the world reacted. The charges against Danny Alves sent shockwaves rippling through the heart of the footballing world. The initial reaction was one of disbelief. 
How could Alves, a player revered for his skill and sportsmanship, be at the center of such controversy? The court of public opinion was quick to convene. Social media platforms were abuzz with heated discussions. Supporters staunchly defended Alves, pointing to his impeccable track record and contributions to the sport. Critics, however, were equally vocal, demanding accountability and fairness. The fallout was not just confined to the digital realm, the impact was palpable in the stadiums as well. Alves, once greeted with cheers and applause, now faced a mixed reception. Some fans continued to show their unwavering support while others were more reticent, their cheers tainted with a hint of uncertainty. The media, ever the fuel to the fire of public discourse, played its part. Headlines screamed with sensationalism, each revelation adding another layer of complexity to the narrative. Pundits and analysts dissected every detail, their opinions further polarizing the public. Back in his homeland Brazil, the reaction was mixed. Alves, a national icon, was now a figure of controversy. Many Brazilians felt a sense of betrayal. Others rallied behind their fallen hero, hoping for his vindication. As the public wrestled with their feelings towards Alves, the effects on his career were immediate and stark. Endorsement deals were put on hold and his standing in the team came under scrutiny. The player, who once graced the field with an air of invincibility, now played under the heavy shadow of scandal. Yet, the most striking response was from Alves himself. Amidst the relentless media frenzy, the public outcry and the professional setbacks, Alves chose a path of stoic silence. It was not the silence of guilt or fear, but a silence that spoke volumes. It was a silence that said, I will fight, I will clear my name. Amidst the turmoil, Alves remained silent. In the face of adversity, Alves chose to speak. As the charges emerged, the world watched, waiting for the football star to break his silence. And when he did, it was with a poise and determination that many did not expect. Danny Alves, a man known for his flair on the pitch, showed his mettle off it. He maintained his innocence, vehemently denying the charges leveled against him. His response was not one of a man cornered, but of a man standing firm in his truth. He turned not to lawyers or public relations experts, but directly to his fans and the public. He used social media as his platform, sharing a heartfelt video message. In it, he spoke not just of his innocence, but also of his love for the game, his respect for his fans, and his commitment to truth and justice. The world watched, listened, and reacted. There were those who stood by him, rallying around him in his hour of need. They pointed to his sterling career, his contributions to the sport, and his reputation as a man of integrity. They argued that the Alves they knew could not be guilty of such charges. Yet there were others who were not so quick to believe. They pointed to the gravity of the charges, the evidence presented, and the potential implications for his career and public image. They demanded justice regardless of who the accused was. Amidst this cacophony of voices, Alves' response stood out. It was not just a denial, but a plea for fairness, for justice, and for truth. He asked not for blind support, but for the chance to prove his innocence. His words, however, did little to quell the growing storm. The public, the media, and the world of football were divided. The debate raged on, the questions remained, and the world waited to see how this saga would unfold. But through it all, one thing was clear. Danny Alves, the football star, was now at the center of a storm and he was ready to fight. His words, however, did little to quell the growing storm. As the legal proceedings began, the world watched with bated breath. Danny Alves, a man known for his deft footwork and quick thinking on the pitch, was now in a different kind of spotlight, a legal one. The progression of the case was closely monitored by fans and critics alike. The courtroom, usually a place of black and white, was now awash with shades of gray. As the evidence was examined and cross-examined, testimonies were heard, and both sides presented their arguments. The trial was a marathon, not a sprint. The prosecution presented a series of allegations, each one more damning than the last. They painted a picture of a man who had lost his way, who had let success cloud his judgment. The defense, on the other hand, argued that Alves was simply a man caught in the wrong place at the wrong time. They pointed to his stellar career, his commitment to his club and country, and his clean record up until this point. The key points of the trial were like a roller coaster ride. There were moments of high drama punctuated by periods of tense silence. There were days when it seemed like the scales were tipping in Alves's favor, 
and others when they tilted towards the prosecution. But through it all, Alves maintained his innocence, standing tall and resolute even as the storm raged around him. The implications of the trial were far-reaching. If Alves was found guilty, it would not just be a personal blow, but also a blow to the image of football itself. It would raise questions about the conduct of players off the field and the responsibility they have as role models. The verdict could potentially change the way we look at our sports heroes, showing us that they too are human, capable of making mistakes. The verdict, when it came, sent shockwaves through the football community. As the gavel came down, the world held its collective breath, awaiting the decision that would redefine Danny Alves' legacy and the landscape of football itself. In the aftermath of the verdict, the world was left to ponder. The dust had settled, the courtroom had emptied, and the echoes of the gavel's final strike were all but a memory. But the resonance of the verdict, the ripple it sent through the football world, was palpable. The verdict had been handed down, and with it, a tidal wave of consequences was set into motion. For Danny Alves, the man at the epicenter of this legal maelstrom, the implications were monumental. Regardless of the court's decision, his reputation had been irrevocably tarnished, his legacy put under scrutiny. The golden boy of football was now a figure of controversy, a character in a drama that transcended the football field. In the wake of the verdict, the football world found itself in a state of introspection. The question of guilt had been legally settled, but the court of public opinion was still in session. Fans, pundits, and fellow footballers alike were left grappling with the revelations of the trial, wrestling with the dichotomy of the Danny Alves they thought they knew and the one revealed in the courtroom. The impact on Alves' career was immediate and undeniable. He was no longer just a footballer. His name was now synonymous with a legal case that had gripped the world. Clubs, sponsors, and even some fans distanced themselves, wary of the controversy that now surrounded him. In stark contrast to his once meteoric rise, Alves' fall from grace was tragically swift. The stadiums that once echoed with cheers now resonated with whispers and murmurs. The man who had once been a beacon of footballing prowess was now a cautionary tale. Yet amidst the turmoil, Alves remained defiant, vowing to continue his journey in the football world, a world that now viewed him through a different lens. His future was uncertain, his path fraught with challenges. But one thing was clear, the game had changed for Danny Alves. And so, the question remains, what is the true cost of fame? The saga of Danny Alves is a tale of triumph, controversy, and unending questions. We've journeyed together through the life of this illustrious footballer, from the humble beginnings that shaped his passion for the sport to the peak of his career where he found himself embroiled in a controversy that would test the strength of his character and the resilience of his reputation. In the early years, we saw Alves as a young, aspiring footballer, making a name for himself on the global stage. His passion, talent, and determination were evident, drawing admiration from fans and fellow players alike. But as with any public figure, fame and success came with their own set of challenges. As we delved into the charges that emerged against Alves, we saw a different side of the story. The allegations, the public outcry, and the media frenzy all contributed to a narrative that was at once captivating and disconcerting. The complexity of the situation was further amplified by the stark contrast between Alves' public persona and the accusations leveled against him. Alves' response to the charges, as we discussed, was a pivotal moment in this saga. His defiance, his insistence on his innocence, and his commitment to clearing his name all painted a picture of a man caught in a storm, but unwilling to be swept away by it. The legal proceedings that followed were a testament to the seriousness of the charges and the implications they held for Alves' career. The intricacies of the legal battle, the verdict, and its aftermath all serve as stark reminders of the precarious nature of fame and the scrutiny that comes with it. In the post-verdict phase, we saw the impact of the trial on Alves' career and personal life. The fallout was significant, and it brought into sharp focus the question of accountability and the consequences of one's actions. In summarizing this saga, it's important to reiterate the complexity of the situation. This is not a clear-cut case of right or wrong, guilty or innocent. It's a convoluted narrative punctuated by moments of triumph, controversy, and unending questions. As we continue to watch the saga unfold, we are left to ponder what is the true cost of fame.